The raccoon family has diversified into many familiar species, like raccoons, coatis, and ringtails. The kinkajou is more restricted to the tropics and lives from southern Mexico to Bolivia, east of the Andes, and down to the Atlantic forest of southeastern Brazil. This totally arboreal species inhabits closed canopy tropical forests, including lowland rainforest, dry forest, cloud forest, and gallery forest. Here we see a kinkajou feeding on the nectar of the balsa flower, a common secondary forest tree. Kinkajous do love nectar, but 90% of their diet consists of ripe fruit. So they're kind of the nocturnal equivalent of spider monkeys in that they are both fruit specialists. Kinkajous are active between 7 o'clock p.m. to midnight and then again an hour before dawn. During the day they sleep in tree hollows or in shaded tangles of leaves. Kinkajous can rotate their ankles and feet 180 degrees making it easier for the animal to run backwards and climb down trees head first. Wild figs are a principal food source, but a ripe banana can't be passed up. They are also known to occasionally eat birds eggs and small vertebrates. Oddly, kinkajous are more lethargic than other members of the raccoon family. Their long tongue helps them eat fruit and lick up nectar from flowers. They are considered pollinators for many species. The kinkajou's tail is totally prehensile and acts like a fifth arm. It appears that a kinkajou and a Central American woolly opossum fell to their deaths after a violent fight high in the canopy. Competition doesn't usually get this rough.